Bios.in Hello guys, a warm greetings to the all crypto enthusiast. In this video, we will introduce you to the basic mathematics needed to understand AES, the advanced encryption standard. Here is an overview of the video. Firstly, we will be learning what a set is, what binary operations are. Then introducing to groups, we will move on to group axioms. The topic of sets is by far the simplest topic to grasp in mathematics. Let's see what it is. A set is basically a collection of well-defined things. Things like a tree, a cell phone, a puppy, people and so on. So a set is a group or collection of objects or numbers. Each object or number in a set is called a member or element of the set. There are many ways of representing a set. Roster form or tabular form is one of them which is used widely. Here, the elements are separated by a comma and are enclosed within curly brackets. For example, consider the shown example which encloses numbers. Now that we have elements of sets and it is nice to do things with them. Specifically, we wish to combine them in some way. This is what an operation is used for. An operation takes elements of a set, combines them in some way and produces another element. More simply, an operation combines the members of a set. Consider the set of colors, red, blue, green. Now we define an operation of mixing these. For example, red mixed with blue makes yellow and green mixed with yellow gives purple. The word binary means composed of two things. A binary operation is simply a rule for combining two values to create a new value. The most widely known binary operations are those learned in elementary school. Addition, subtraction, multiplication and division on numbers. Technically, a binary operation on a set is a calculation involving two elements of the set to produce another element of the set. 5 plus 4 gives 9. 4 minus 4 gives 0. 1 times 6 equals 6 are all examples of a binary operation as they involve two operands and an operation and produce a result. Now that we understand sets and operations, you know the basic building blocks that make up groups. Simply putting, a group is a set combined with an operation. So for example, the set of integers with addition. A group is a set of elements with an operation which combines two elements of the set and produces a third element which again belongs to the set G. One of the familiar examples of groups is the set of integers. A group is represented by capital G set comma operation. For example, capital G Z plus comma plus is a group of positive integers with addition operation. The number of elements in a group are called its order. A group has the following properties. The group contains an identity. The group contains inverses. The operation is associative and the group is closed under the operation. Let's have a look at each of these briefly. Number one, closure. If we have two elements in the group A and B, it must be the case that A operation B is also in the group. This is what we mean by closed. Formal statement says, if two elements A and B belong to the set G, then A operation B should also belong to the same set G. Number two, associativity. All it means is that the order in which we do operations doesn't matter. The formal statement says, for all A, B, C in G, A operation, B operation C, is same as A operation B operation C. Number three, existence of identity element. If we use the operation on any element and the identity, we will get that element back. For integers with addition, the identity is zero because five plus zero equals five and zero plus five equals five. In other word, it leaves other elements unchanged when combined with them. 
there is only one identity element for every group formal statement there exists an element e in the set g such that a operation e equals a and e operation a equals a for all elements a in set g number 4 invertibility if we have an element of the group there is another element of the group such that when we use operator on both of them we get e the identity for the integers and addition the inverse of 5 is minus 5 because 5 plus minus 5 equals 0 inverses are unique you cannot name any other number x such that 5 plus x equals 0 besides minus 5 make a note that while there exists only one identity for every single element in the group each element in a group have different inverses the formal statement says for all a in g there exist b in g such that a operation b equals e and b operation a equals e way back we saw the four different operators that are used with numbers addition subtraction multiplication and division but in reality there are only two operations when we subtract numbers we say a minus b because it's short but what we really mean is a plus the additive inverse of b can you take a guess at what division is in the same way it just means multiply by the multiplicative inverse so there is really only addition and multiplication roughly speaking a group is a set with an operation and the corresponding inverse operation if the operation is called addition the inverse operation is subtraction if the operation is multiplication the inverse operation is division we can define subgroups of groups these can be abelian groups finite groups and infinite groups we can define subgroups of groups abelian groups are commutative groups in which the result of an operation on two elements does not depend on the other in which on the in the order in which they are written finite groups as the name suggests contains a finite number or fixed number of elements in it they have finite group order examples include cyclic groups modulo multiplicative groups infinite groups on the other hand consist of infinite elements examples include groups of integers and rationals That's all for the time. Meet you all in the next video with another important mathematical structure fields. Thank you. Thanks for watching this video. Please leave a like and comment if you have any suggestions. Subscribe to the channel for more exciting content. Make sure you follow us on Twitter and Facebook.